<laughs> Anyways, let's get back to the set. <laughs> you got, uh, Ooh, some more Philly and some more Jersey. I'm seeing a lot of New York's um, erasure on mainstream. What do you mean? Obviously, clearly you missed wave one. There was like three. We got what? Cody, Mr. E. Oh, who else did we get? Uh, who else? Oh, Cody he got three up by Syrup, by the way. Dude, he put, yo, Syrup actually bullied him. No, Syrup, he, Syrup played that match so, so, so good. So, Syrup's so Dude, he Syrup's put him so in a contraption good. like three times. It was so upsetting. That's, 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 that's what, what Syrup, Syrup does, does. though. That's, just, that, that's not anything special. He just does that. That's just a Syrup special, I fear. Like, you get put in like a contraption. I fear, yeah, I, I'm, I'm in fear. I am yeah. in fear. I see Syrup on the screen. I'm like, damn, we're about to get a little, a little tossed up, I fear. Um, Rewind. Okay. Oh, look at this progression. Way to go, John. Way to go, Delta, go, John. Way to go Delta Force. Still representing that Dark Link. Uh, doing well overall for the most part. He's like, this has been one of his most consistent seasons because Delta Force hasn't been able to go to as many events as he's wanting to. Yeah. Uh, but just so, so consistent. Like, looking to improve the little things at all times. Meanwhile, this is Sweshy's first event. Is it his first event since Collision? Yes. No, no, no. That's no. this is uh, these oh, are these like are, major these are events. Notable ones. No, he's he's uh he just this is like yeah notable like big events. It's like right. he's been going to bears and whatnot. He has okay. been like, he going has to bears been. less. He's got his job at Amazon. He goes like every like once in every two weeks now. You out now, here exposing where he works and everything. I'm sick. I do. He's he, I get save Sweshy, please. He needs to save. Save. save, save he, 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 you guys want to hear a fun fact? So is it about Amazon? It's about the, no. Oh my God! No. Oh, <laughs> okay. I was, gonna, no. I was gonna stop. Now, those you are not fun facts. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a scary okay. Fact. Fun fact about Delta Force, actually. All right. Okay. So this date, exactly two years ago, July 27, 2022, that's was when Delta Force beat yeah. Tweak Sephiroth. Okay. Right at a DNA. Exactly. No, it was, it was at a Palm Star. Oh, is that? I, I casted right. that set. That was a good set. That's, that, that's, I was gonna Delta say what if he fought burst, but like I don't know if he's gonna fight burst on stream, so I had to get it out now. Just, it, it was that's funny. Fair. I was, yeah, I was, yeah, I was yeah. taking yeah. notes. I just like it was, it, it was ironic that the days lined up. And that whatever. is, that is very funny. That could last week too. Days lined up, but yeah. No, it, it's just uh, I'm always, I'm always impressed by players who dedicate to a single character, uh, especially in Smash Ultimate, where I think was, there's exactly two characters that you can play solo, uh, and find massive success, otherwise you should have a secondary, but Delta Force makes it work. He makes it worth the Link every time he tries a secondary, it never feels worth it to him, and the Link gets it done, and it gets him on the PR time and time and time again. I've always been a fan of Delta Force's Link in general, especially when I first saw him, I think, when New Fusion Open Venue opened up was when I first was able to go to, the, to a, the Fusion, and I saw Delta Force, and I was like, Link can do things. Um, like SD, unfortunately, but that happened. <laughs> we are going to be seeing Delta Force down with Sog for a second, but I am very confident he can bring it right back Ooh. with a double up air right to Swashy's face. Okay, so you guys in Jersey, we know the dichotomy between Yeast and Apple Viewer, right? Yes. The Mashy Rebar versus the uh, Practical Meat Brawler. Yes. That's, the, that's the dichotomy of Swashy and Yodaki. Yodaki is the one the more setup focused, a lot more patient. Swashy just gets in there and he brawls. Okay. He, he, feel, he has a really good sense of neutral, really know when to open up, and his combo game is really unmatched. And especially at the ledge as well, we saw immediately the, the gimp there with the bomb. He does a really good job of getting those characters out there, putting them in really awkward situations. So I think Swashy has got a really good footing so far. Yeah, it's Oh, oh hell charging whoa. everything. Jeez, dog. Wasn't able to get the second hit uh, follow-up, though, because he charged it. it. can be a little bit of a double-edged sword there. The... Oh, nice up smash on the catch as well. Delta Force so good at responding, and... You know, shout-outs to some uh, Jersey Bowser Juniors that have been on the come-up lately. Uh, Nimbus being one of them that has given oh, yes. a lot of players a lot of practice uh, at, against uh, Bowser Jr., which it may be a matchup that you don't see a ton of, but when you're going against players like Sweshi and Yoda Cage, shout-outs to Yoda Cage in uh, Japan right now, you need, a, you, need the, you need the experience against every character because everyone is so good. Good reversal from Swashy there in order to make this back to a little more of an even game as well as having one clock of keys. 92%, however, you're getting a job on situation. You go for the forward smash, and there it is, the one, two. I speak, they end the game. I can't believe it. But really good. That's go. Yeah. I love jab, Link. Jab lock, one, two. No, he can jab lock off of jab two as well. Not every character can do that. Some need oh, wow. like jab one, space, jab Jabs, one. Yeah. Instead of doing jab one, two. But Into jab lock, and then yeah. boom, you get I mean, very free forward smash as well. Like, really good positioning, really good awareness from the force. Like, yeah, especially was able to get a couple of good uh, opportunities for himself. Um, in that matchup, but I just feel like, wow. Especially, back please up. back up. Dog. I was about to say, back up. <laughs> Mike, please. Like, my goodness. Going over to the. <laughs> he uh, is locked in. <laughs> <laughs> he, he I need him to lock out real quick. <laughs> I need to clock out and go home. Anyways, I think the biggest thing that Delta Force is doing right now, I mean, I mean, we mentioned Yoda Cage and Methodical Unit, and especially getting in there and playing aggressive. Yes. Delta Force are recognizing that early on, saying, okay, you know, if you're going to keep 
running up and, and getting inside my CQP, the zone, the close range, I have a boomerang. Up, I can combo off of that. Turns out, I, if I do these fadeaway fares and fadeaway into airs, I'll be fine. Because, again, I, these aerials have the same priority over Junior. So I was, I, you have to chill a little bit. We're seeing him again and again coming in with the, the cart dash and getting punished because Delta Force is catching that approach every single time. It's killing me. It's killing me how many times Sarkis Fushi is going for the same option multiple times in a row, and he's getting punished for it. And Ooh. again, even the little bonk of the Forder was not going to be able to find Dead of Force's hurt box. And Dead of Force is able to find a punish off of that not once but twice here, resulting in a first stock taken so quickly on. Only a minute has passed here. You know what all of this keep out gameplay does for any player that is getting kept out all the time, getting walled out by all these boomerangs and back airs and nares and the safety of which Delta Force can uh, play at, it makes when he does run up that much more terrifying. In the yeah. case of the first stock, Tsueshi is assuming that a lot of his space is going to be free to take because Delta Force been, been, has been playing very uh, slow. But then you Ooh. do that and maybe you're able to take a stock, maybe you're able to run under and find an up tilt. Well, of course, that... Uh, Attempt at an edge guard wasn't the most ideal for Delta Force, but the same situation applies where Delta Force is establishing a pace and then juxtaposing it whenever he needs to take a stop. Yeah, definitely. What was he cooking? Go on. Oh. <laughs> sorry, my bad, Chris. I, I, I had his speech. I'm sorry. Good. Now, now, especially of course, trying to take a step back a little bit, looking Yo. to play a lot more patient, waiting for Delta Force to make a move first. Obviously, the easier something done, given how the priority of Link Nair. Like, Link Nair is just yes. doing everything. The, so the fact good. that it, it, it has taxes. just enough percentage to go through cart armor is huge in this matchup. Because even the side approaches are getting stuffed out by Link sticking his leg out there. It's, going, it's working out perfectly for him. He bought new boots. Like, they're nice. Yeah, like, they got he got them from Terrytown. Like, it's, it's good oh stuff. Oh, my God, Terrytown. <laughs> Big Terrytown fan, and also a big Delta Force fan. Able to come back to the ledge, and we seeing the Mega Koopa also come through, but it's going to be completely negated. And again, that Nair, like you were talking about earlier, coming out and making a statement, as well as the bomb, just doing a little bit of damage on Swishy, not going to be able to take the stock completely there. We're seeing a, uh, the Clown Cart escape, and there is the up throw. Going to be just enough to make it to a last stock scenario for Swishy. Very solid bait there from Delta Force in order to run up, shield, find the throw, knowing that Swishy plays pretty uh, consistently on immediate time. Timings. And while Sweshi hasn't changed his timings a lot, he's changed his spacing in order to make this super, super even. But getting a little bit too greedy there with that up smash, oh, oh. almost detonating himself with his oh. own bomb. Careful. Oh, oh yeah, playing oh, around the There you go. Careful here. Sweshi looking to find an opening here on this platform. But of course, again, keeping the pressure up, jumping in the empty hops, actually putting a lot of fear, trekking fear into the soul of Sweshi. Well, finally going to find that back here. 24% definitely doable for the junior make it back. Again, the way... Delta Force is now, like you said, mentioned, finally going to get uh, pull on the aggressive side. Like you said, once the aggression comes out, it's going to be very, very terrifying. It's literally striking fear in the soul of this battle team here right now. Look, the clown card getting the gay by Nair is so, so it's smart great. for Delta Forest. And it's just not letting especially really do what Bowser Jr. is kind of known for. It's kind of going in, going for the clown card, getting those, uh, again, oh, the forest. Hello? 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 <laughs> Wait, my... This I'm is great. I'm pretty sure he just had back air up smash, but Delta Force wanted to be fancy. Yeah, and, and I, I respect it. You're, yeah. playing, you're playing Link of all characters, not really seen too often, um, especially Ooh. in the high level play. So if he wants to wherever he wants, go wherever you want, Bestie. Go MC for a parry and a little bit of a quick reset as after, after the upbeat. We oh. fell out! Falling out of forward air, one of all things. Not able to connect in the second hit. Oh, never trusting the spacing that sweshi has been playing at. As I said earlier, sweshi has been changing up the pacing to allow him to put out more aerials and cover his own aggression with yet more aggression. But oh! you're not able to jump in and uh, bouncing off of the backboard of Pokemon Stadium 2 and Delta Force putting out an all or nothing down air that is deceptively safe because you put out down air at full hop and you fast fall late in order to auto cancel. It's really funny seeing how Delta Force plays most of his matchups, like going for the bomb resets, going for the boomerang shenanigans, whatnot. And then Fighting Junior is just, I will nair because it is strong. It, sometimes I, I will nair because it has high priority. And yeah. Brother, it's working. Listen. Like, no, not that, uh, dude, sweat, Mike. <laughs> Back up, my brother. No, okay, no, that's, that's, that, that wasn't hate, hate, by the way. Like, genuinely, like, the way he's using Nair's magic, not only to, one, catch the protein, yeah. but two, to pressure on shield, to for, where especially getting a little really aggressive, like, with upgrades at a shield or anything of the sort, trying for a grab, it's been big. And we need to see, I, what's the counterplay to this move? Come on, what do we do? What do we do against Link there? Cry. Just cry. Don't I get can't hit lie. By it. 
Don't get hit by it. Don't I mean, get hit forehead. There Link, you go. I, I said it earlier. Link Nair pays like your taxes. It babysits your children. It pays your rent. It does a lot for Link, especially the way that the forces you can get so consistently against Swashy. When Swashy's trying to go for an approach, trying to go for anything at this point, and Link Nair just kind of negates it in a really, really sol uh, solid way. And we're seeing again, we're going for straight, straight back to PS2. Um, and especially, yeah, we're going Wendy, but we're still playing the same game plan of well, falling into Link Nair, trying to go for a clown card, getting negated by the by the uh, the boomerang. Thankfully, the clown card does do a lot of uh, extra carrying power for especially there, but for how long as we get the S-Guard going? Oh, mm. nice. Finally, his first lead Damn. of the set. Immediate timing. Sweshi's playing stubborn. And you know what? That's not a necessarily a bad thing. That's Sometimes you need to establish a certain level of control and a certain level of threat. And as much as your opponent may punish you for it or force you to deviate some things, it's oh. always important to stick to the game plan that you're going in prepared for. Now, honestly, I really love how so we're, we're asking, like, how do you deal with Link Nair? I think Swashy's using the side special not to approach at this point, but actually to retreat. And then then once the force user, once he's in that end lag, then you punish it accordingly. Swashy, really good adaptation there to still find his damage because you know, the mobility of that side, you know, they call him Dr. Sonic in Philly. He was able to get back in and use that move. And finally, Delta Force is struggling to get back into this game. Delta Force being on that ledge for so long and racking up a good about 50-60% on himself from Swashy, who's still uh, pretty much at that first stock. 154%, still do a force. Delta Force kind of just come in. I want to see like a, a, a smash uh, connection, uh, maybe an up air as well. Anything here just to get something started because any more percentage on yourself as Delta Force, it's not going to look pretty and it's going to make this game go even longer. But there it is coming through again. Link there, one stock right. gone. <laughs> the link there once again, paying my taxes, <laughs> doing my 401k, everything. Yo. I could do that. That's a pretty good move. That's a pretty good move. I can't lie. It's something to be said about like when you open, using a move to like all of its different effects. Like, your opponent then at some point has to start playing around it. And I think that's where Sweshy has found a lot more success in this game, is that Delta Force, he's not moving to keep up with Bowser Jr. He's moving to establish certain spaces and certain uh, um, locations um, on stage. Sorry. There we go, thank you. Hilarious. Uh, the Upsmash Shadow Shield is able to salvage that situation. But as long as Delta Force is moving to establish zones, rather than to try and chase it down Sweshy, he's able to move between zones without too much fret. Right there, that's a big thing. Sweshy, instead of using the, the card to deal with his, the normals of Link, whether with the forward air and the nair, actually recognizing, okay, whenever he sets up with bomb and boomerang, that I can side be through. Right. That, that's how I get in. Punish him not when, after the setup, during the setup. That's when you, when you get in the middle of Delta Force's flow chart, that's when you confuse and it's like, oh, wait a minute, my, my Link thing, so what do I do here? That's huge. Sweshy taking note of that and Using that effective immediately. Yeah, figuring things out in the moment is certainly difficult. I love that also Swishy's actively putting in more attacks that we haven't really Ooh. seen in the first two games. Things like down tilt, things like uh, forward tilt. And most of his tilt attacks actually have been doing a lot more effort Ooh. here. He has down air coming in as, as, as well. But a little bit of a trade, a little bit of a trade there could be sending uh, Delta Force into a little more of a favorable position here to, to, to reset neutral. But I mean, you're on, the, you're on the platform, what do you do? You don't want to get hit by Rapid Jump, but you do. And now you're off stage at 115%, and Bushy is kind of just feeling himself here. Well, Let's take the forward throw here, trying to detonate the bomb as well. Like Delta Force putting a lot of eggs in the basket of, I need this forward air to hit. Ugh. Forward tilt ends up connecting, utilizing the early active frames to anti air a little bit there. Suddenly gets a chance to play around a little bit. Set up from so long ago, and it intercepts the combo. Delta Force still hanging on here just fine. Goes to the down so looking for some way to get back in this game. Here's a mech Koopa as well. Just trying to keep himself like, yo, again, keeping these action clocks, waiting for Sushi to overextend, but catch that roll in there with the up smash. Sushi now on the board here. 2 1. The Philly undefeated streak is still alive. You see, he's still, okay. he's still oh, hanging on. Okay, hanging on. we're hanging on. <laughs> we're hanging on. The reverse 3 0. Don't call it a comeback. Not yet, at least. Not yet. It may happen. Yeah, I definitely want to see Delta Force change stage. Though. Oh, yeah. damn. What stage? Tensity. Why? Because. Uh, a, Delta Force likes it a lot. It's his favorite stage. Okay. And he thinks it's Link's best. Uh, unless it's banned. 
Which it might have been banned, so we're not it's going probably to banning it. Stage. Uh, okay, if I'm Sweshy and playing Junior, the one stage you definitely do not want to go to is yeah, probably Tons so. City. So I understand why you'd ban it. He's changed costume every day. That's, 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 yeah. that's, yeah. that's actually, it's a, that, he, does, he does it normally. Yoda is the Morton guy, so she switches his <laughs> costume every game. That's my go right there. He, so he, does he not go Morton? Because no, he goes Morton. He goes Morton. He goes oh, okay. Morton. Be funny. Wait, that would be funny if he did it. Look, he goes more. He goes Morton last. Okay, that's uh, cool. Well, he is. I think he's eighth once. We can put there. So yeah, that makes sense. But I mean, <laughs> sorry, we're gonna be seeing um, again, especially kind of in the hot seat here. Gonna be putting a lot of her onto the force, which has been uh, un only only recently seen in that game three going into oh. game four now and Delta Force is trying to find a new way of kind of bringing it back in that more comfortable lead he has been so dominant in in game one and two it's the immediate back airs where are we going no John please not like that Delta Force please uh it's certainly certainly tough but oh it's gonna it's, talk. it's tough to think that to see Delta Force like really trying to beat out defensive options and then especially just not giving it to him Yes, Sweshy mama. recognizing Delta Force jumps to the platform every time to set up Bomb and Boomerang. So he set the Mecha Koopa there to catch Delta Force and premeditating that jump on the platform. Sweshy has finally got the download. He's definitely cooking a little bit here, following rolls, like looking for reads, playing grounded with a mix up of forward smash and a rapid jab as well. The Bomb is able to intercept the Clown Cart, though. That is huge in order to stop Sweshy from just doing those for free. How are you feeling there, Mott? Ooh, I'm feeling real good. I love the hero spin in order to kind of negate that rubber that was coming through, coming in, uh, that forest match coming in from Squishy. And Delta Force, I feel like still has work cut off for him. We did have an unfortunate SD very early on in the uh, first dock of Delta Force. And that was scary. Okay, we come back for free though. The bomb is in, is in hand. And we don't detonate it quite yet. I mean, we're still playing with it a little bit. We detonate it on block or on shield, may I say. And Sweshy is just kind of in the blunder of the um, of the of the boomerang. Still can be finding his way around that platform or finding his way to get... Uh, a better position against Delta Force, who is so adamant on the what combo the game. Freak? But, oh, he got hit by the scooping hitbox of up smash. He's just making stuff up at this point. ZM is not real. So, I keep talking about timing, right? Okay. And uh, Sweshy doing a lot of stuff like as soon as he can, trying to cover himself with yet more Ooh, options. Good. Like a lot about like using hitboxes to play around hitboxes, clown cart, etc. All that. Mm. Pogo stick. I'm Whenever sorry, he misses a tech, yes, that's when the delay comes in. He's yeah. not allowing Delta Force to re he's Might allowing Delta Force to recognize and then pivot off of it. The rapid jab closing out the stock Sweshy, making sure that comeback may in fact be real. Hey, may in fact. Schroden just come back. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I mean we're even now, Momo. What do you gotta say about that? I gotta say that Sweshy is still he's holding good. on the lead. There you go. Finally find that grab up air is coming out again and again. 68% like it's nobody's business. We got recognized the last time and not gonna challenge that focus stick there. Pressure of the side B on the corner. Finally, when he puts Delta Force in the corner, when he makes him scared, that's huge. Because Link's defensive options are not great. He's a, his frame data is, he has a lot of good setups with, with moves, but his frame data is not great. So if you're able to make a Link scared and keep them in shield, that's what the best ones you want to have. But oh. Almost on the F-Size, but not just yet. Mega Koopa actually kind of saving Delta Force for a second there in order not to get caught out by that, uh, that the hitbox of that Force Master. Therefore, I mean, Delta Force still very much in this. At 120%, though, it gets harder and harder of a mountain to climb against Sweshi, who has only just been finding his footing, finding his way through this matchup in uh, in the round one here. Again, starting to bring it back to even, going for the forward throw, you're off stage again, so the forward is going for the the, the boomerang, and it does come back a tiny bit on Sweshy. Ooh, that grab was risky from Sweshy. Both players are making these big risks. The down smash oh. was a little too slow. We needed to, he needed to trust that it was going to be correct rather than try and recognize God. it as the percents climb to even here. Another bomb comes down. The boomerang attacks. Oh, oh my he God, that was there. He goes for a spin out there? Are you that, trolling? That late into the clown cart ride, he spins out in midair. What a mix. Yo, honestly, King, get closer to the camera. You deserve it. You point. get closer to I need to see <laughs> yeah. you in all your Put those headphones glory. back on. Sir. Holy you macro. you got a game five. Holy macro. We, go. we have a game five. That can was... we talk about Okay, let's take a second. Let's relax. Okay? I'm, the I'm way calm. that Delta Force has played. I'm sad, literally. <laughs> I'm sad. The way that Delta Force has been consistently throwing down the bomb, the boomerang, 
waiting for Sensei to land and obviously punching with the F or the retreating, whatever. He always does that, sets up, and then retreats back. The setup for the next right. bombs combo. That's where Swashy comes in with the spin out, punishing accordingly. Things the game. Guys, this set has been a banger so far. Oh it's my god, your cage your, your, your is here. He's here. Ah, you found him. You're the son. You're the kid's son. You're the kid's son. Oh, no. We're back. <laughs> we are so He's scared. Bad. He's like, oh, that's Yoda. He's oh, like, my God. Yoda. My worst matchup. You guys seen the uh, the, the Strive 3v3 update? Yeah. He just, like, called out Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yo. yo All right. So yeah, Jackie having thing. a very dominating lead so far. A little 72% right on top of the other force, who only really has a boomerang as a response. Missing the down tilt, getting hit by Swishy's very own. And now you're on this ledge, Swishy able of uh, trying to find a punish, but instead opting to allow the force to get back on the stage just to bully him a little bit longer. Delta Force is just disengaging now with any and every one of these clown cards, which some of them you certainly have to, especially when the jumps come out. But against a spin out, you have to find these punishes. But Delta Force is choosing to play safe as mm. much as possible. No oh my come on, man. Delta Force is mad you're nervous over, right now. You're overcomplicating things, Don. <laughs> he is being a He's, little bit you want, too. You know how much better he did game one when he was like, just, I will nair because it is strong. There you go, fine. Nair, nair, nair because it is strong. Just nair, just nair. It does your taxes. I lick promise. Link, please lick Link. There you this go. Is, this is what getting. This is what playing stubborn and playing at these immediate timings will get you. You're forcing your opponent to work around you, and even if they have been, and you are making them continue to do so, and thus that allows Sweshy to slowly but steadily gain tempo and gain initiative. And now it's in the game is in fully Sweshy's control. You have to read. He's just got to make the most of it, and that oh air is going to do it. Delta Force keeps dying to unfortunate DI because literally he will set a bomb and jump back every time. He lost to it last game, he's dying to it now. Delta Force needs to pick up the flow chart because Sweshi has go. caught on. He's been putting the pressure on like white on rice. Very, very well so done from Delta Force in order to bring it right back <laughs> to a more even state of game plan and narrowly mid that connection on the up there, which would have been a really great start to a combo, maybe like a little 4 percent combo, but. Off or not, we're going to be continuing on with the down throw into the Nero again. Again, it pays your taxes, so keep doing it here. There we go. Boomerang on the platform. Where is especially going to land? Nowhere. We're off stage for a second. Even longer. And that's what I'm talking about, baby. Not going to be quite it, but putting the whole world of hurt on Sweshi. Guys, we haven't done the commentary yet. Nice back air. Nice back air. Well, side side. Oh. Bowser Jr. <laughs> takes less knockback if you hit him in the cart. I did say that. You did say that? Oh, yeah, that's why, that's why I was saying. That's why... Uh, the, the nair is good because even with the weak nair, it still goes through the side. My bad. I know what I'm. I, no, I cash you know, you know, for a you living, know. brother. No, you, you got it. You got I it. don't. You got it. That's my fault. This is your people. Y'all got it. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Unquote, unquote, people. Whoa, whoa. chill. <laughs> Can we see a little bit of air? Oh! oh! Man, every single one of these tech chases, uh, especially, has been slightly off when it comes to like the down smash, whether it's been uh, the spacing of it or the timing. And that's allowing Delta Force to get some little momentum oh, going God. his way, find ways to survive. That stock still holding on, looking for grab there, trying to introduce the rapid jab yes! with the spin wow. out. Yes! What a <laughs> what the, yes! That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Philly down on mainstream. <laughs> That's crazy. Do you guys know this guy's from New York? Hey, how's New York doing at pool? Is, is it because I'm really loud? It's okay. I know Jersey's doing good. I know Philly's doing good. How's New York doing, bud? Um, okay. Mystery's doing pretty well. Yeah, they're doing good. I saw he lost his round one. Okay. So He, he beat Rivers. And so she also lost his round one, too. The hype about that. Game five. It's Philly unranked versus New Jersey ranked, by the way. This is, this is a jobber right here. That was this, a banger this, of a set. That was a job. This commentary crew you set up where all of us are from the same, oh. from like the each of the regions. Yeah, it's Tri-State Showdown. It's getting a little intense. Oh, this is the this is the point. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, he's the thinker. The we're, thinker has logged in. The, making, the thinker has sat down. We're getting all over. I've tasty. been sitting. This is great. No, no, seriously, this, this match was this absolutely was fire. Was and I always, I always like to like. I feel like as a region, we have a lot of weird characters. Like Link, yeah. regular adult Link is very weird to see because most people will typically choose Toon Link over him, right? And you know, Bowser Jr. is Bowser Jr. Like honestly, weird. You're weird. You're a weirdo. You're a weirdo. I You're mean, used to it, but for like literally the rest of the world, weird I'm character. Your region gets run by Duck Hunt. And that's a great character. And that's a weird character too. That's a really weird character. I'm not saying Tri State as a, gen as, a, as a whole have really weird characters that is really fun to actually see them play. Yeah. You know, watching Delta Force get some really nasty combos going with Boomerang with the uh, bomb as well. Like, 
and also being able to consistently punish things like clown car with like nair is stupid but at the same time especially just plays wherever he wants and he was making up a whole game <laughs> at the same time so uh, again this is a really fun way to see the talent of tri-state with all of our weird little guys tri-state does guys. have that like clear division like i don't you know make fun of it in jersey like oh there's four steves on the pr yeah. there's like even more that aren't pr but like still threat that you have to contend with and it's like oh yeah and also jersey is a has two me brawlers on the PR. Yeah. Like, oh, whatever. That like, character is, is a top tier. Don't, a, not at me. Character's a menace. That's top character's 20. Character's a menace. Like, I saw, like, I saw, top I saw someone not have me. a hot take on Twitter. What like someone take? said, oh. oh, show me. It's like, say your hot takes. And someone said the me, all me fighters are top, are top five or ten. Now that's, uh, that's great. That's insane. I know. And I saw that. Me and brawler? I chose to block them. Wow, real. <laughs> real. I want to yeah, shake his hand. Me brawler, me brawler, top, like top 15. Yes. Me Gunner, top tw like he low said all key. fighters, all low, fighters. Me Gunner, low key. Maybe if I see him more. Me Sword Fighter, yeah, you're smoking. <laughs> smoking. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Like me, I used to think Me Gunner was the best before like the Me Brawler starting to pop off. Now yeah. Brawler, top 15 for sure. Gunner, you could probably average out like at worst top 30. Like, yeah. Probably in that top 20 conversation, top 25. Me Sword Fighter. Me Sword Fighter's bottom three. <laughs> I think that character's. Awesome. I don't know about bottom three. Probably like bottom 10. I don't know about bottom three. I think he's bad. bottom five is a good between. Okay, okay. I like being a centrist. Not all the time. Yeah, because right, right, right. you're in the center of the couch. The, the center. <laughs> the w. Got him. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was actually I over here originally, and then I was booted to. But the now middle. you're taking the centrist. Right? <laughs> uh, uh, booty. I'm too smart for this couch. This is ridiculous. <laughs> like, I, all this face. Look, there's an extra microphone headset set here. Like, okay, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Sit on the milk crate and put your feet on the couch. What? <laughs> sit on the milk crate and there you go. You're too, you're too small for the couch, right? Yeah, you sit on the milk crate and then you put your feet up on don't the couch. Be, don't complain is what I'm saying. <laughs> Look how you sound. Crazy. Who said I was complaining? Can you believe this guy? You mean gaslit? You mean just, girl boss? I mean oh. gaslit. I can't believe it. I j Anyways, guys, I hope I you're having a fantastic... You know, <laughs> yeah, we are having a great time. We're, 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 yuck, we're yucking. We're having some good chuckles. We're, we're having... Having? And I yucking. Think that's, we're yucking it up. Oh my god! That was really, okay. That was good. That was all right. Okay. The, I mean, the whole goal of the, the tri-state showdown is like to have a lot of this inter-region, uh, inter-region interaction. That's why it's always so nice to have the uh, casters reflect that. And I think that's oh, one yeah. of the biggest goals of uh, of the roster was to have like two from every region, from every sub-region, to intermingle all of them uh, in. Uh, on the couch, plus AG, of course, who is like honorary tri-state. Yeah. Um, no. I said that they're, they're, they're a New York caster at this point. They're yeah, sponsored basically. by yeah. 3K. They're all, most of the New York. I say that's a New York caster. Yeah. Yeah. I claim Sorry, that. CT. We took your really? casters. We took. Exactly. Ajax we took, we took, is gone. We took, we took a lot of their casters. <laughs> we <laughs> did do that. Ajax is gone. He's doing multiverses. Shout Sorry. out to Ajax and multiverses. Let's go. We took AG. Hold that. We Sorry. took Bubs. We took Apple, Rev Apple Reviewer. Hold that, buddy. Well, Apple Reviewer is Jersey to begin with. And then he moved to school. Yes, yeah, so I, I consider him still so, New Jersey because he's just. Oh yeah, no, he is for school. Yeah, he's Jersey. He's but in my heart, he's, he's top ten in, Jer in Jersey. Top five. He's top. Five. He's fourth on the PR. Dude walked in, said, "I'm gonna beat Zamba, Syrup, and Jackal this season," and just like did he beat Leon? Oh wait, that, no, that was that was, that was sinister. This, uh, like right. a sinister. Yeah. Okay, guys, quick uh, update for the stream. They can oh. hear me. Uh, right, we had DTP and Slasher uh, for stream, but they just sat down at the setup and started playing. Oh, the troll. Billy is yeah. full of so very I'm gonna, I'm gonna give my sons a very stern talking okay. to. Okay, so in the meanwhile, let's run meanwhile. some. Hi everybody. Yay. <laughs>